we we are awaiting the toxicology on Justin Harris. And I've said I something like lorazepam or something of a sedating nature, I would not be at all surprised if we saw something that affects memory, affects cognition, affects concentration. And Anahita, although you said sexting is no big deal, if you're sexting with a bunch of people, and by the way, we've learned something about you, that, that we're, there's no big deal to sex with underage people and six people or at the same time. No. Uh, it's hard to concentrate on what you're doing. Exactly. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying that just because he was sexting with six different women does not mean that he's necessarily a murderer, Dr. Drew. And like I said yesterday or the day before yesterday on your show, I think that that fact actually helps the defense because if the idea is this was an accident that he could have plausibly forgotten that his son was I in the car. I think it's what a condemnation. Excuse? That's not an excuse. Well, it's it's not a, a condemnation. Janine, mm, you get where I'm going at here? Legally I mean, an you. excuse. Yeah, yeah, it's like, and Janine tweeted something the other night along these same lines. She, during our show, before you, she's been gone for a couple weeks, here's what she tweeted. Quote, they were swingers and their kid was in the way. <laughs> Now, Deneen, I they, love her tweets so <laughs> much. We, we all love them, but but the, we're not hearing anything though from Yasmin on the ground there, talking to people that knew this couple, people that had barbecues with them, and not telling us that there was kind of they had an alternative lifestyle. Nothing like that coming through. No, you know, I've always thought that this was more of a marital issue than a parenting issue, but I'm now under the impression that it, it, at first I believed that maybe she was leaving him and this was desperation. Now I'm thinking that this kid was in the way and that he was cramping both of their lifestyles and that they ha hatched this plan together to get rid of this kid. And I don't know if the mom was the mastermind or if she was just as complacent, but I think she was absolutely in on this. And it's not so much what they did before the kid died that concerns me, it's how they reacted after right. he died. Right. Right, you know, if I yes. step on my kid's toe, I'm just like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You know, yes. people who, who accidentally do things to their children are on suicide watch when they're in jail. And they're not sitting around chewing gum or just, you know, calling in to the funeral. Claudia, their their I, behavior I, is alarming. I, I, Claudia, do you agree? I mean, Deneen, as usually upsets me, but do you have anything <laughs> uh, of a similar nature to say, or are you a little more uh, clement towards these couple? I don't know if they were swingers, but th the father was definitely off the chain and doing his thing. And it seems like th the mom may be a little bit more upset with maybe his sexing than the death of the child. Now that she has hired an attorney, when no charges have been filed against her, maybe the stuff that's come to light with all the sexing has maybe made her more angry mm -hmm. because she certainly doesn't that's show any kind of up. sadness or any emotion no. with, you know, the death of her child. Samantha, seems like you agree with that. Yeah, I think that, you know, mommy needs to lawyer up based on her <laughs> odd yeah. behavior. And I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, listen, I think the police are already digging and building a case against her, but I wouldn't be surprised if they use her as a pawn to yes. somehow yes. convict, give give them more information, convict her, 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 her husband so she can save her own ass or vice versa. I think it could get really dirty.